Hi, my name is John. I have been with our family business for 32 years. I love sharing what I know about upholstered furniture to help people make more informed decisions. Thanks for taking the time to learn what makes a better quality sofa. Frames. Like a sturdy building, you need to start with a good foundation. For sofas, that's the frame. The stuff that's under the cover, padding, and cushioning. Better sofas utilize hardwood laminates and or solid wood lumber assembled with corner blocks, dowels, screws, glue, and heavy duty staples. Better components and assembly techniques can withstand improper handling like sliding furniture instead of lifting, or abuse from heavier weight on front rails, arms, and backs. Support Systems Better quality couches use coil spring support systems that work in conjunction with the seat cushions to absorb weight and bounce back like a shock absorber. Heavy gauge steel coils can feel more supportive from day one and more comfortable for a longer period of time. Some manufacturers use prefab drop-in coil springs that can lower labor costs but restrict design freedom. Some factories use the old world eight-way hand-tied coil technique. Both can help extend the support and comfort life of a sofa. Many better manufacturers will also use steel zigzag springs in the backs to help with the support and comfort of the back cushions. Most brands use these less expensive zigzag flat springs under the seat cushions where most of the weight is. These tend to not be as supportive and comfortable for as long as coil springs. Padding the frame. Better quality sofas apply more padding and foam over the wood frames before applying the fabric and leather. This helps with the overall tailoring of the piece. It smooths out the unevenness of the wood underneath and the tack strips used to apply the fabric. It also makes the arm soft and protects you from hard edges underneath. Outside layers of padding can also prevent outside arm and back panels from a wrinkled, flapping in the wind look. Generous padding is like lining on a nice suit or skirt. It helps the fabric or leather lay more crisply and looks well made. Seat and back cushioning. Better sofas utilize seat and back cushioning that can feel and look better longer. Better sofas use easy maintenance seat cushions with higher density foam cores. Generally, the higher the density, the more polymer material there is to support you. Better brands will Dacron wrap their cores to soften the feel and round the edges of the core. They then cover it in a muslin bag to smooth out the exterior appearance and help prevent lumpy migrating Dacron. Most furniture sold uses seat cores with 1.5 to 1.8 pounds of polymer material per cubic foot in order to keep costs down and do not wrap their cores. These lower density cores simply will not feel or look as good for as long as 2.0 or higher foam. Many premium quality sofa makers also offer higher maintenance down blend cushioning that requires lots of fluffing and rotating. This is a mix of goose down feathers and premium virgin long filament Dacron put into a chambered bag for the back cushions and the toss pillows. These bags are baffled or channeled to reduce long distance settling of the down blend. This down blend is also wrapped around high density foam cushion cores to add a more luxurious soft feel. Some manufacturers offer thin gauge steel coils embedded inside the down blend covered cushion cores to offer a luxurious soft feel with a little more bounce and resiliency. These are called spring down cushions and are usually complemented with down blend backs and pillows. Better seat and back cushions are like bed pillows. You can buy one for $9.99 or $199. They will both probably feel good on day one, but the $199 one, with proper care and fluffing, will likely feel and look better six months later. Tailoring, covers, styles, and options. Better quality upholstery manufacturers offer more fabrics, leathers, styles, and options to choose from. They often have more unique fabrics and difficult to make styles and options. Think fringes and cords and collages, mitered pillows and curvy frames. 
Since they are typically handmade one at a time, they will put any fabric on any frame and match the pattern all around the piece. Depending on the style and pattern, this can be very labor intensive and waste costly fabric. Offering these options can add cost to your sofa and do nothing to make it last longer. Summary. So in my opinion, that's what makes a better quality sofa. The second question was, does a better quality sofa last longer? At Wayside, I train our associates to share these two tips with our customers. Number one, if you want an easier maintenance sofa or sectional that lasts and looks better longer, do not buy reclining furniture. Heavy mechanisms with moving parts, individual reclining pieces bolted together, and tight seats with pillowy softness makes for great comfort, but a troublesome shorter life. Number two, most people judge how their sofa lasts on three things. First, by how the cover looks and wears. But no matter how good the guts of the sofa are, whether you put cover A on an entry level constructed sofa or a premium constructed sofa, the cover will look worn at the same rate. If you want a sofa to look good for a long time, don't use it. Or, by a park bench made of wood or cement. You could consider commercial seatbelt-like fabrics that you see at hospitals or in airplanes, or the old Herculines from the 60s, 70s, and early 80s that did wear better, but they are not soft and the patterns are very limited. Or the next best thing is leather, which can actually get better with age, like your favorite leather shoes or a baseball mitt. And it may be less expensive over time. The second thing many people judge is how the seat and back cushioning looks and feels. Better quality sofas can indeed look and feel better longer because of the coil spring support working in unison with the premium cushioning. Finally, they judge how the guts hold up. Are the springs making noise? Are they still resilient and supportive? Is the front rail and or back rail sagging? Are the legs loose or broken? Better quality frames and support systems can indeed hold up longer. However, springs and frames on both entry and premium levels can have issues. But in most cases, better quality brands will help repair issues for a longer period of time for free or at a fair and reasonable cost. Thanks for watching our video. Just mention John's Park Bench at my family's cafe for your free drink or pastry. If it's nice out, enjoy your treat outside in our garden patio.